day 12. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am on a 21 day reset challenge where I'm focusing on my mind, body, and soul. If you're interested in learning more about that, please click the video above or check out my daily goals listed below. I am in a very good mood. I feel like the intermittent fasting is really, really tapping into this energy that I rarely get to access. I feel like I really did a good job taking care of myself yesterday. If you remember yesterday's video, I had like the worst headache. I woke up with it. It lasted for at least 24 hours. I just did not feel like myself. I did a very easy workout on the bike and then I went for a very easy walk afterwards. I just took it easy. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I feel like guilty if I take it easy. But yesterday, and I think it's because of the book, I really, really wanted to take care of myself and do something that was right for me. And that meant yesterday, resting, taking it easy, relaxing. What I also did yesterday that I want to attempt to implement moving forward when I do intermittent fasting, typically my fasting or my, I hate this, the feeding window, I'm not even gonna say that. To me, that sounds like we're like animals or like livestock and that there's a feeding time. Go, come on, get your food. It's feeding time. I don't wanna do that. So the time when I stop eating is typically anywhere from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. I rarely eat that late. It's just psychologically, I allow myself that window so that I don't feel like I'm starving myself or that I'm cutting myself off from something. Again, this is all just me knowing myself well enough to know how to trick myself in helpful ways. Last night though, I actually stopped eating at 8.30 and was totally fine. Part of it was because of the headache, so I used it to my advantage, but I ended up going to bed feeling good and woke up just not feeling super hungry. The headache went away and I had all of this energy that I think was only there because I allowed myself the chance to relax and rest the day before. Today is a calorie cut day, which just means that I'm reducing my calories. So my goal is to hopefully go anywhere between 800 calories and 1500 calories. I found this out sort of like early on in the challenge that for me, again, psychologically speaking, I need to have like a window of calories that I am allowed to eat. I don't respond well to, you can only eat 1200 calories today. You can only eat 600 calories today. Instead, what I realized that works for me is that I give myself this window where the minimum is gonna be 600 calories on a calorie cut day, and the maximum is probably gonna be about 1500 calories a day, and that is based on what I find that I'm burning on my Apple Watch every single day. So today, the limit is 1500. See, even saying that, I shouldn't have said that. What I meant to say was I'm allowed to eat at least 1500 calories today. Oh, well, it's just a joyous occasion. Sometimes, sometimes it works, sometimes it just doesn't work, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it because you're watching me and this is helping me to stay accountable. So I appreciate it. So let us go to The Mind. We are reading The Way of Integrity by Martha Beck. Okay, we are already at chapter seven and the title of this chapter is When Righteousness Goes Wrong. So remember from yesterday, she explained something called the errors of innocence. And today we are learning about what she calls the errors of righteousness. She's talking about our own personal moral codes that we have either grown up with, that we live by, that we make our decisions with, the things that sort of we think make us who we are and how we judge the world and how we judge ourselves. Now, we might think that these moral codes are based in logic, 
but she argues that they're actually based on culture and cultural assumptions that we've grown up with. What this means is that we tend to get really attached to the things that are familiar to us. And when someone comes along and challenges our, like what we think is our core belief, we typically react with this sort of violence. We get upset. We don't like when someone challenges our central beliefs and that is an error of righteousness. And I think her point here is that what errors of righteousness can do is prevent us from growing and learning from new experiences or new ideas. Not only that, but um, I don't know about you guys, but I have an inner critic and there is an inner monologue that goes on inside of my head whenever I feel like I'm not living up to being perfect whenever I feel like I'm not living up to my own personal moral code, I have this really judgmental voice inside my head that's basically saying things like, you're not good enough. You didn't hit a really high move goal yesterday. You're a failure. You should just quit now. And obviously this is a voice that is full of a lot of self-righteousness. And this is the voice that can actually prevent us from growing and changing and ultimately loving ourselves into the path of integrity. So tomorrow we are going to find out how, with more concrete examples and exercises, how we actually fight those inner monsters, that inner critic that can derail us from becoming who we're meant to become. Now we'll talk about my body. So I just wanna say, I wanna preface this by saying, there's a reason this little thing is up. This is my treadmill. Uh, I am so proud of myself. <laughs> so if you're an athlete and you're watching this, you're not gonna be proud of what I did. But if you're somebody who's struggling with running, jogging, walking even, you, you're gonna be proud of what I did. I had the courage to jog for 30 minutes straight. That's what I did. Check it out. Obviously it's a very slow pace, but you know what? We gotta start somewhere and it's an improvement on last week when I did the walk run combination. And now finally we will do the soul, meditate with the nature. Today was a beautiful day this morning, so enjoy that.
Okay, I read the 10 pages, check. My move ring with that run was awesome today. So that was 750 total calories burned, 2,500. Check, one gallon of water, easy. Today was a cut day. So I went all the way up to 1,300 today. I'm still pretty proud of that. Meditated for five minutes and film and upload this accountability video. See you all tomorrow.